And hello folks, I'm back again. It's your old pal Uncle Al. Got the fireplace going. Uh, about four hours ago, Captain Cl Crazy declared two things. A undeclared war against Israel for threatening Iran. Okay. And also, uh, Captain Crazy now declared in the USA, United States, a national emergency on gasoline and other fuel products. And he'll say he'll be back with ideas for rationing. Okay, folks, it's time to get rid of Captain Crazy. Undeclared war on Israel. Okay, that sounds nuts. I got to get my glasses Ugh. wrote down the notes uh, Captain Crazy declares undeclared war against Israel after Israel threatens to nuke Iran because of the violations and stuff and then also Captain Crazy declared uh, USA is in a national emergency bypassing Congress and plans to do gas rationing. That was four hours ago. I guess I wasn't wrong. Okay, so you should gotta got your gas. All right, folks. Wow, that's really nuts. I gotta cross that out. I mean, woo. Captain Crazy declares national emergency. Captain Cla Crazy declares undeclared war against Israel. Okay, things are getting worse. We, meanwhile, he's trying to push, again, ban on these type of weapons. Now, I have to tell people it's just a plain old semi-automatic with just... Uh, uh, what you call it? How can I say it? It's just a rifle that's semi-automatic. It's not a real military weapon. It could pose as one, but I wouldn't take it to battle. Okay, another question was on personal defense weapons, and there's a good book. Personal Defense Weapon by J. Randall. I think you could still find it on Amazon. And it has to follow these rules, if you can see that real close. Uh, is it too deadly to use? Is it illegal to carry or brandish it? Can it be concealed and reach when needed? Is it comfortable to carry all the time? How much skill and training does it take? Will it gross you out if you use it? Is it reliable? Will it break or wear out? Which is true. Now, a lot of people, they I have several books because I'm into martial arts. They talk about bull whips. Now, I herd cattle, both dairy and regular. And I know how to use a bull twitch. That's a shortened bull whip. Now, you want to see a rattlesnake's head pop off, give me one of those, and I'll show you what I could do. Remember, end of bullwhip goes the same speed as a 22 Magna or a 22 Long, depending on the user. So you don't want to really upset the guy with the bullwhip. And all those movies you show, nah. That isn't true, okay? Uh, because in historical record, if you get 50 slashes, lashes from a bullwhip you'll know and another thing I like to tell people yeah, let's see if I can get that one there's a type of 22 rifle that I really enjoy shooting made by Henry okay it's the long barrel see that the long barrel 22 and this one is you could use shorts 
long rifle, long or long rifle, 22 Magnum. Okay, it's nearly incredible. I got two on oh, my glasses. I can't read that fine print. Okay, you could shoot in any of them, and it's still under six hundred dollars, which is a really good deal. I do like uh, twenty-two mag or twenty-two uh, rimfire in this configuration because it has a threaded barrel, twenty-four inches long. The barrel tip is threaded, so you can put in a six or five inch silencer on it. And the nice thing about that, if you're plinking rats or coyotes, I use the 22 Magnum on coyotes, and then I'll use the uh, 22 Rimfire for rabbits and smaller game. Uh, if you hit like a very big raccoon with a 22 Magnum, he's not going to get up. Now, I've seen raccoons run away after I plug them really good with 22 longs and hollow points are solid. They still look at you like, what the hell did you shoot me with? Yeah, I shot one time a 40 pound raccoon. He was kind of mad and I was kind of mad. So I emptied about eight rounds of 22 Magnum and then he just toppled over. Found out he had rabies. That's why he was so mad. Uncle Alan doesn't want to get rabies shots again. I've already been through the process. And it's very painful, folks. I did the new way and the old way. You get it through the stomach a couple of times, and you get it a couple of times in the shoulder. You don't feel that good. All right? So like I said, folks, if you want to get a smaller caliber handgun that doesn't cost too much, uh, type in Diamondback Sidekick. Okay, and you go on any, uh, type it in YouTube or you can type it into Bing or Google uh, Diamondback Firearms out of Florida. It's called the Sidekick. It's a very nice little handy revolver. I got, I think, two or one dislike on it. Okay, it's a nice little handgun. And a lot of people, well, you know, you need a 9 mil. And then you hear Captain Crazy, 9 mil is evil. Uh, nine mils bad for you. I don't care. I shoot a forty-five. So and he'll probably say something about that. Okay, a lot of people are kind of crazy. If you don't want to use a firearm, that's your choice. But you better be very good at martial arts or hand-to-hand -hand combat, or you have some kind of hand tool to stop the attacker. Now, a lot of ladies I tell, go check out Apartment Prepper. She's had a nice little video. Uh, the trouble with the screaming devices, the flashing light devices, they work to a certain point and then it gets unaffected, especially if the person is psychotic. I had this poor lady got her, her arm broke because she pulled one of those flashy screaming things and the guy beat her until it broke her arm but like I said folks that's the reality of life I prefer my faith in a 45 ACP pistol and then uh, not to worry about it now like I said the other book personal defense weapons is it going to get gory okay uh, I gotta take it off for a second one second Getting old. <clears throat> My doctor's always wants me to stay in bed, and I keep telling him, I'm coming back to your office next Monday. Yeah, and he's bringing his specialist to come in and check me. And I'm looking at them like, and they won't give me an MRI or a CAT scan or anything because the state sent me more forms I got to fill out. Are, what, how old are you? Are you an infant? And it's like, I just need a scan, you know, ultrasound and then an MRI and then probably surgery. 
and you're sending me all this paperwork. That's always fun. I got to send it in before July 20th. Thank you, bureaucracy. Okay, what they mean by gory. All right, now this one, I haven't did anything, but it's a machete. All right, it's a Bowie machete. It's pretty nice. It's nice and strong. Take a look. It's more of a bush knife, you know, chopping weeds, uh, things like that. I also can stab. But like I said, I prefer chopping weeds with it. Now, they have a shorter and heavier model of this. That I like it. It's based on the Marine Corps Raider. It's a little more thicker. It's a little bit, same pattern, a little bit more thicker, a little bit more harder. But I like the reach of this one. Okay, so I don't think you want to be in an enclosed space in Section 8 and you have your little can of pepper spray, mace, whatever. Remember, Uncle Alan went through the course and I've been sprayed many times during training, so it doesn't really phase me. It just pisses the hell out of me. So you better know martial arts or like, wow, that pepper spray did not work. No kidding. Because you got to think, what happened the attacker is not affected by this? And it'll be a horrible thought. I have to double check the little battery light, sorry. It'll be a horrible thought if you can't take them on hand by hand or have some kind of physical weapon to deflect this. All right, so this ends that. Oh, I hope you find this a little interesting. And I'll catch you later. You have a nice evening now. And remember, if you want to freak people out, put Uncle Al on TikTok or, um, I guess, Instagram and stuff. I'm not too familiar with all this high-tech stuff. I'm just plain old Uncle Al, you know, plain old boring Uncle Al, drinking coffee, sitting at home. And if you like my material, please join up, help old Uncle Al. If you want to drive your family crazy, go show videos of old Uncle Al. And like I said, folks, Captain Crazy's doing all this. And also, he's how much money did he give to that one thing? Uh, Captain Crazy donated $46 million earmarked for Social Security and women and children to a program telling the American people, everything's fine, do not prepare. Okay, that's $46 million, folks. What the hell's wrong with this guy? That's Captain Crazy. He's the guy in the White House. And I'll catch you later, folks. You have a nice day. I'll be seeing you. Bye now.